Big Brother is getting bigger every day. This report will examine Google and how it's interacting with your portable communication devices and how they're tracking everywhere you go, everyone you know, and everything you do. The days of removable data storage and batteries are going away. We're being migrated to cloud-based storage where your data goes in and never can be deleted, where you have no aspect of privacy as you won't even be able to remove the batteries in your phones. The end of this video provides steps you can take to somewhat mitigate the intrusions on your privacy and the extent to which you're being tracked. The other day, I received a very disturbing phone call from my son. He told me that he um, was driving in his car and having a personal conversation with one of his other buddies. He is in the military, or I should say was, he just got out. But he told me that there's a thing called Google Dashboard where you can check your Google history. And he went on that, and we're gonna walk through that in a minute. And what his phone did was it automatically turned the, micro, the microphone on in the phone and recorded all of these personal conversations. Now, anyone that has a YouTube account, um, as, as you're probably all aware, you have to have a Gmail address to sign up for the account. I know at least back when I signed up for my YouTube account, which was back in 2012 or 2013, I tried using my uh, POP email address and it wouldn't take it. I had to have a, I had to actually create a Google email account to create my YouTube account. So any of those, um, those of you out there who have a YouTube account, you need to pay attention to this report. And um, those of you who have a Gmail email account, you also need to pay attention to this report. That includes Google Hangouts and um, any of the other crowd-sponsored Google sites out there. They're monitoring you too. Now, this doesn't only apply to Windows, but it applies to, you know, as I said before, Android device operating systems as well, as well as your, um, your desktop PC if you're running Windows um, 7 through, I believe, 10. So if you want to uh, check your history on there, just go to uh, the search engine, you know, the browser bar up here, type in Review My Google History, go down here, re click on Review Data on your dashboard, and that will bring you to this View Your Data and Account Activity in the Google Dashboard. Then you go down and you click, click on Visit the Google Dashboard. It may or may not ask you to sign in. It's going to ask me to sign in. We'll do that. And it will bring you to your accounts, your control, protect, and secure your account page. Now, under Device Activity and Notifications, all your recently used devices. This is very important. I want you to pay attention to this. Okay, here. It is listing my Windows machine, but it's in Buckeye, Arizona, and we'll get to that. I don't live in Buckeye, Arizona. Um, it has my uh, Galaxy Samsung mobile phone, which operates on Android, has my Galaxy tablet, and my Galaxy Note 2. Now, here's something very interesting. It is not picking up my laptop. My laptop, which is on the same network I'm on right now making this report, is running Linux. So this is not capturing anything running on Linux operating systems. Now, although we're just talking about uh, Google, Windows, and Android right now, I am quite sure that Apple and iOS has the same type of data collection and identification platform that Google is using for Windows and Android. Now, when I first logged on um, under my dashboard and went to my device information, it showed that I was logged on in Phoenix from my desktop, your Windows right here. After I went back during the making of this video, it indicated I was now logged on from Buckeye, Arizona. I don't live in Buckeye, Arizona. 
So what I did was I copied this address and went to this website called Webroot Bright Cloud, typed in the um, IP address for the lookup to see who owns that IP address, and it gave me the following information. Now, here under suspicious, it says that these are suspicious sites. There is a higher than average probability that they will be exposed to malicious links or payload overloads. And those are exactly the problems I'm having with my browser, especially with Firefox. Um, and I've been having them for a while. I don't live in the best area for high-speed internet connectivity. As a matter of fact, high-speed out here is considered 8 meg. So I copied that IP address and pasted it in the search bar on my browser and went to this website. You can see how dog slow my browser is. And went down the list to search for this particular IP address. Clicked on it and it indicates that the IP address belongs to Quest Communications. My internet is not provided by Quest. And if you look over here on your timeline history, it shows every place you've been. And if you click here, see your most visited places, all the places you've been based on your lo location history, it shows where you went, how many times you went there, or how many different days you went there. I mean, this is just, this is incredible. Look at this. It shows doctor's appointments. It shows places you went to go eat or have a drink. I mean, how many times you've been there. The first date, it was recorded in your timeline. Again, doctor's appointments. Now, if you click, now if you go and click on a specific date, check this out. It shows you how much time you spent while on the trip driving. It shows that I drove from the house to Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport, where I then took a plane to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and picked up a car, and how much time I was in the car. Now, if you go log on to your personal dashboard here at Google, then you click on um, Expand All. I already clicked it, so it says Collapse All there. It tells you all of the accounts it's trolling. Any place you've ever been, look at my Android account for both of my phones here. It's got the date it was backed up, the time, the size of the backup, the files that were backed. Look at this. All of this information. It's got my, um, yeah, this is my other phone and my old phone. So it even has history in here from phones you don't even have anymore and this audio button here i have it enabled just for you know the purposes of, of showing you this but if you click on the manager to view this report in its entirety go to level9news.com under ai chronicles data collection and assimilation ghosts in the machine part two